The campaign season is here, and your vote can make a difference. Comcast brings you the candidates on demand right now. I'm Jill Horner, and this is Candidates on Demand. With me is Patricia Alessandrini. She is the Green Party candidate for the 9th Congressional District. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Tell us a little bit about the 9th District and the area that you want to represent. Well, it's Northern Bergen County, and there's a total of a little more than 33 towns that this covers. Um, it's working class and those in the higher end of the economic scale. So a diverse district. It is very diverse, Talk to us yes. a little bit about your background. I started as a registered nurse and I went to school with a degree in history, continued on for a degree in international studies at Fairleigh Dickinson University. And I became a political activist because I was made more aware of issues that we need to be addressed. Our system tends to be corporate dominated. And that's why I joined the Green Party. The Green Party doesn't accept any corporate donations. Obviously, that's difficult for us because in the towns that I have to try to reach, 30, over 33 towns, I'm fairly alone in trying to cover these districts. I do have help from other Green Party members in my district uh, in Bergen County. We have a very strong Bergen County Green Party uh, group. So let's focus on, on some of the things that you would want to accomplish uh, if you were elected. You say your top priority is related to jobs. Yes, people are hurting, hurting badly. There are any number of house foreclosures, people losing their jobs, not able to make, make their payments. And what I would hope for is enough money from the federal government. Right now there's about $50 billion put into a program, part of the stimulus package. We need something like $200 billion to get more people to work. And where would that additional money come from? The additional money could come from the federal government. We really have to set priorities on federal spending because our government bailed out at the tune of two to three trillion dollars, banks. We must put money into people, into citizens, and our infrastructure is in very bad condition. I'm sure most people understand that. These jobs would be in the rate of, a, of millions of jobs and not just for construction, but engineers and surveyors and others who work with the ecology because it's important to use new innovative methods in building, especially roads and highways. And I want to quickly switch gears, talk a little bit about taxes. You say this is another one of your priorities. Yes, our tax system needs and has needed for many years some reform. For example, working class who may have a salary of between 32000 to even 80000 a year are taxed at a rate of 25%. Whereas at the other end, very wealthy, who invest in stocks and bonds and have portfolios, their capital gains tax is only 15%. And if they hold on to these for five years, it goes down to 5%. So just an example of, of why you're running. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much. We've been talking with Patricia Alessandrini. I'm Jill Horner.